Crossover high, get busy like Bill Collector. Exotic, get my paws, nigga, tell him he can't catch the fourth quarter. Straight pressing, we bring in LeBron. And y'all know what it is, man. It's 3 a.m. on Witty, and your boys is back in the building. Your boys back on the block with it. Yes, sir, yes, sir. 3 a.m. on Witty, man. Big episode this week, man. Episode 41, man. Yes, sir. Dirk. Big you know what it is. Man. And we talking about the Miami, when he beat the Miami Heat in the final dirt. Yeah, man. We One got leg dirt. jumpers, boy. You got Dirk Nowitzki, man. Dirk Nowitzki, whatever you want to say, man. You know, you know, everybody put their own, you know, rendition on how they say his name, whatever, man. But man, it's Dirk uh, Nowitzki, man. I know, I mean, they used to call him Dirk Nowitzki, whiskey, whatever, man. Whatever but, that dude, man. Yeah, man. Fun fact, though, bro. You know that he's been married to a black woman for like the last 15 years, bro? Yeah, man. Everybody know that. And you know they used to, she used to send them to the game with like the foil food and all that shit, bro. Nick sent them, sent them to work with lunch. Yeah, man. Yeah, Strong man. black woman. Shout out Dirk, man, in his wife. Uh, yeah, man. Episode 41, man. You know, monumental again, man. Another week we at it again, man. Uh, you know, I like to get into a lot of stuff this week, but before we go any farther, man, just want to shout out my co host first, man. Yes, sir, man. It's your boy, Rapid Ass Will, a.k.a. Mr. Popeye, what you into, a.k.a. Big culture, you know what it is on the guy. Yes, sir, man. And you rocking with your boy, Coach Jr. Man, if you ain't did it already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. Hit that button, man. That notification bell right there, man. But uh, let's get into our sponsors real quick, man. Yeah, man. So shout out, man. Our sponsors, Black <coughs> Own Artisan Water, man. Right now, man, Black Own Artisan Water has been sold out. So we just want to say we appreciate all y'all support. We we'll definitely will see y'all in 2024, man. So make sure y'all put y'all orders in for the upcoming, you know, for the top of the year. And um, as you know, the official H2 Woe, you know what I'm saying? Feeling stress, you need a break. Man, I'm introducing this H2O, man. It's a CBD infused water. Yes, Helps sir. you with chill, relax, makes you find your zen. You know, it's made with real fruit flavors, zero THC. H2O is the perfect way to wind after a long day, man. And um, grab y'all a bottle of H2O, man, and find y'all a happy place, man. Yeah. H2O, find your car. Yes, Official sir. H2O. Make sure y'all go out and get that, man. Make sure you tap in and grab a case or two, man. Alkaline water infused with CBD, man. Make sure you tap in and grab a case, man. Yes, uh, speaking on that, man, I just actually seen, man, um, uh, on uh, I think I was watching uh, earlier today, Fig Minute News, man. Seeing they had a case up there with Problem up there, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And shout out Problem. I seen I seen a clip of that, man. Um, they was up there on Fig Minute News, T Rail and um. Ace Boy Pun, and they yeah, had Problem up there. Problem been up. popping up. He been doing his rounds around the community, but I seen he had the Coffee and Kush. Shout out Coffee and Kush. They coffee had and the, Kush, too, man. And just a quick story. My man, he got a mug, too, man. My man hit the mug. No coffee. Yeah. Man, that... <laughs> I, got a little, I got a little cold right now, man. So y'all see me coughing, ain't nothing else, man. But no, nah, man, real story, man. Um, I seen them breaking down how you use it up there, man, and... And he was making that shit seem like it was just a breeze in the park, bro. It was so was like, simple, was it? Yeah, it's simple how you use it, bro. But man, that motherfucker. I don't know is this the angle or how you hit it. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use it too, bro. I don't know if this. It throw you off because it's a mug, but well, it's nah, perfect to hit that, and drink bro, your man. coffee, though. You did? I, I ain't even talking about that, though. I'm talking about just the, the intensity of it. Like, uh, it's, it's very, very, you know what I'm saying? Like, pure, I would say, how you getting the smoke out of there because that shit comes straight. Straight through it, man. You felt I that be, shit go straight into your lungs, huh? Yeah, man. It's like you can put a, <laughs> a, a shit a point two in that mug, man, and that shit is gonna go straight Dead. in, man. It's like damn near like you smoking wax or somehow that shit hit, man. <laughs> no, shout out the problem, man, for that, man. Um, that definitely is one I'm gonna keep in the box. Yes, sir. But yes, uh, sir. that's the home <laughs> team. So shout out Coffee and Kush. Like yeah, I said, man. the official H two O. Um, Black on Artists and Water be back 2024. So look out for that, man. Yeah, man. But uh. It was a spooky week, man, out here, man. Uh, spooky hours as always, man. But before we go too far, man, how was your week, bro? Man, I man, I was blessed, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I got off my little gym regimen a little bit, man, because it was a, definitely a busy week, man. Back and forth, back and forth, man. But we back in there this week, you know, on the gang, man. So we back on the health as well. And, man, I've just been trying to stay solid, man. I even got a little reading done. You know, I'm, I'm an avid book reader, but I've been off of it for a minute, but... Yeah, man. Getting back right. I got to get back on my reading and shit, man. I ain't read a book in... I mean, I read all the time, but I'm talking about like I ain't read like a, like an actual book like I usually do. 
Yeah. Like, I usually get into my, you know, crime docs and biographies and shit like that. I mean, self-help books. What's, the, what's the last book you read? Hmm. I don't know. Probably J. Prince book. Probably J. Prince book. Probably J. Prince. Uh, it's a dope read. Forgot the name. I got it over here somewhere, man. Yeah, I know what you're talking uh, about, though. Keep it in the stool. With me, what I want to read, and I got it, but I haven't read that, is two of them. Um, the Fat Joe, I want to read that. that too, and man. I got that. And uh, I want to read the uh, PMC book that old girl wrote. You know what I mean? I, 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 I wanted, wanted to that. read that, but since it, that's Julia Beverly, I wanted to read that, but I was like, since it's, it's, it's uh, through basically yeah. like her, you know, thing, like, which ain't no knock to her, nothing like that. I'm just saying, like, if I'm gonna read an autobiography, I kind of want to get it like it was coming from that person. Like at least they plan to put it out there, not somebody just kind of telling like a tell-all. Because yeah. that's what it kind of came off as, like a tell-all. But it's coming from a third, third or fourth party, damn near, man. Because like even when Prodigy put this, and that's a, that's a good read too. When Prodigy put his, uh, he put his book out. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It was yeah. like a tell-all, but it was coming from the nigga that it was coming right from. You know him. He even did the audio book. It was dope. Yeah, man. Stupid. But, uh, no, man, uh, me, I was just out here, man, definitely uh, just getting a lot of stuff done, man, working in the stool, man, uh, had some things going on, man. I had stepped out a little bit, man, and went to, uh, what was it, went to Pins, man, my own girl, we went to Pins, man, went up there, man, did a little bowling and shit like that, man. That is not bowling. Gee. Yeah, pit, what is it called? Uh, <laughs> I don't yeah. know what to call it, man. I call baby I just need to get out. I just I need to get out yeah. the crib, man, and just motherfucking just uh, you know get away from this equipment for a little bit, man. So he went there. What's it called? Duck? T- duck. Forgot some shit, dog, man. Duck it ain't bowling. Nah, you talking about duck word? No, nigga. I'm talking about the, the game, bro. It's like a little bowling thing, man. Duck pins. I don't know duck what duck they pins. call that. It's yeah. called duck pins. Yeah, I don't know what they call but, that. But uh, I went up there and I actually did that shit for a little bit, man. Had some drinks, man. Just enjoy some music, really, man. I don't, like I said, I just needed the time just to, you know, kick back and just see the city for a second. That's right, man. My nigga had to get out and move his hips. Yeah. Also, man, like, uh, you know, I celebrated my mom's birthday last week. Yeah, man. You know Happy birthday to moms, man. Happy birthday, Kimmy. You know what I'm saying? Over there, my mama Kimmy. Uh, my auntie Shell celebrated her birthday, man. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yeah. And also show, uh, celebrated my uh, road dog, man, my best friend, man, my boy, man, Peasy, celebrated his as oh, well, Oh, yeah, man. man. Shout out Peasy, man. Peasy yeah. Promotions in this Shout out my brother man. Peasy, man. So, like I said, I be having this shit lined up, and this ain't even... I seen, I, I seen Peasy was out there with the boy Juvie. Yeah, yeah I down seen there, down man. The Shout out Juvie. They was down there doing it big down yeah. there, man. I told him, I said, I got to get down there to one of them Juvie Tuesdays, bro, man. Yeah. That shit look lit. I ain't going to lie. That shit look lit, though. I'm not going to lie, though. Yeah. yeah you got to get down good. there, though, man. Just for the whole... Just for the whole culture, you know what I'm saying? The food, the, yeah. how they how they do things. That's why that's that's you know one of mean? my vac- my uh, vacation spots I definitely want to tap into. And then you know, it's in the states, obviously, but I'm just I ain't never been to NO, so it's it's a new world for me. It's I just crazy. Mean. I've never been there in my life, bro. But I I'm I'm so fascinated by the culture, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I gotta go experience <coughs> that. I mean, you know? we grew up or on that uh, you know, cash money and no limit shit. So it's like I always wanted to go to Holly Grove. I always wanted to go to uh Mac you Take your ass over there now. Go up there with a soldier rag on there. Oh man, what? But yeah, man. Um shout out to my bro Peasy down there, shout out to my moms, my aunt Shell, man. Everybody celebrated bir- a birthday, man, this last weekend, man. But um Let's get into it real quick, man. Before I go any farther, man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Three of them on Whittier, man. Episode 41, man. Dirk Nowitzki episode, man. But uh, I didn't go too far off New Orleans, man. Um, let's stay in New Orleans, man. Um, I had seen, man, there's a lot going on, man, with Zion Williams, man. Yeah. Um, you know, last time we spoke on Zion, man, he was going through the whole, you know, baby mama uh, you know, dating, you know, yeah, he's he having the baby. Hitting them OnlyFans. Boy. Yeah, he was hitting them. It wasn't even OnlyFans, girl. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, stars. with the porn stars. There's a difference between yeah, OnlyFans and porn stars. But they both bro. got one. Everybody got OnlyFans, bro. But that's that's the difference between doing full on porn, bro. But they was, uh, I mean, teach his own what he was doing. But at the same thing, though, he uh, basically, you know, he had the baby, whatever, man. He had that going on. He always been kind of a little injury, injury, injury prone ish, I would say. He's been and playing this year, though. I give him. He's that. been playing, bro. Been but playing. they said he also been, you know, indulging in this damn jambalaya down there, too, bro. <laughs> and, uh, gumbo, bro. Like, gumbo king. Yeah, <laughs> man. Um, Stephen A. Smith, and uh, I guess he had got the word from his trainer, man, that that man is not following the plan, bro. Like, what you mean? Uh-huh. He's not following his training plan, bro. Like, you know, it's, it's very sure, hard. Y'all for trying him. to tell me he eating spaghetti spaghettios and shit in the locker room? What y'all saying? Yeah, man. Like, it's, damn. It's rough, man. 
That's crazy, bro. Like when you get that much money or just to be, I look at it like a job. You know, that just like this podcast, we do this every day, but I look at this like a job, bro. We come here to provide niggas with shit every week. His job is to play basketball. So you trying to tell me that a professional basketball player, the number one thing when you play professional sports is to take care of your fucking body. Yeah. And you trying to tell me, bro, he 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 ain't, I mean, obviously he not taking care of himself because they say he eating, they say my man pulling up to Mickey D's, getting fish fillets, yeah. double cheeses. At 3.30 in the morning. 3.30 <laughs> in the morning. But, I mean... I, I mean, like, I feel like you can't really just, like, just knock him just all the way for it, you know, at the same time, because, like, long as he out there and he, you know what I'm saying, he is productive, you know, it's like the long run of it, though. I mean, I can see what the, the, the coaches are saying, like, dog, you, we can't hold you in the game as much as we want to because you, you over here, you know what I'm saying, huffing and puffing, bro. But like, you got to think, though, when you the... And we know your body the way your body make is right now, the making model of your body, bro. Pound cake. It, it, it's, it's a, it's, I would say, like, a five-year... Span, bro, you can probably man, be to that 300 mark, bro. bro I just, you Four just, years span, two you years. You just span. cannot be a professional basketball athlete and be shaped like a tight end. You can't do it, bro. And if you're going to be shaped like one, you better be shaped like Shannon Sharp. You know what I mean? But it's just crazy, though, you get to that. You, you're the face of that franchise, bro. And all niggas is asking you to do, you got all that bounce, all the talent <coughs> in the world. To be a top five player. He's a top ten already. Yeah. So a nigga just like, yo, get you a trainer. Get you a nutritionist. Well, he got the trainer. Get he me, just like, you know what I mean? He's just like, forget he what ain't that got no nutritionist. He ain't got no nigga that's watching. Nah, he got nigga. all that. He just ain't following that shit from what they say, man. He got but it. That's crazy. You know, they gonna make bro. sure every they gonna make sure he got all the things, all the necessities he needs to make everything happen, bro. But he a grown man, bro. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gotta follow it if he wants to, but I mean at the same time, it's gonna it's going to derail his career in the end, though, I feel, if you don't get yourself in order because you're in the right spot right now. You had multiple injuries. You know what I'm saying? You de- you know when you had them injuries, that's like I, when I got hurt. I know I blew up, you know what I'm saying, a little bit. So it's like when you had them injuries, you sitting on your ass. You know what I'm saying? So when you come off that shit, man, and you actually make it back out here and stuff, bro, and you still kind of like lagging behind on the on the things when you the 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 marquee player, bro. It just kind of shows like, all right, do, are you doing the, are you doing the things to put you to the next level of these marquee stars that we talk about every day? Yeah. Are we ever gonna be able to compare Zion Williams to a uh, 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 Steph? Not even, not in that right, but I'm talking about as like being a, a, a championship player. Stuff uh, man, let's just uh, start with being an in shape player first. We asking too much now. We talking about championships. But I'm saying he has that weight on nigga. his shoulder to be doing that though, because that nigga is talented, bro. He has all the gifts. To I do. mean, if they have him in the playoffs with B Ingram with Bi and the yeah. talent they got, they can at least go to the Western Conference Finals, and that's with a healthy sign. And that's my thing, though. That's not enough motivation for you, nigga. Like I know you in New Orleans. I know the gumbo, Crabbit. the scrimps. Crawfish. Crawfish. I know the crab balls is popping. Crab ball, probably, But my bro. guy, you you the face of that franchise, bro. And you a hell of a player, bro. Unhealthy. Out of shape, you a hell of That's a player. That's what I'm saying. Unhealthy, he's still So a picture the nigga down. He, he pushing 300. Yeah. I'm going to say 280. Okay. So picture, picture him at 250. 250 260. Man. You'd be unstoppable. Oh, unstoppable, my bro. God. And then not only that. As you seen, even with LeBron James, and he still got it. But you see how much money he put into his body, and it's kind of like you can't depend on the way you play. You can't depend on that athleticism Same. for That's more. What I was getting After at. you get more than ten years in, that bounce leave. And if you yeah. can't around, you see how. Shout out my boy Shaq, but you see how Shaq looked the last four years, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Shaq got Shaq got off like the and Shaq last, is shaped like a motherfucker now. Shaq got off like the last like you know few years of his career just off you know being diesel, just being the diesel far size wise. Just like hey man you know, but he came damn near non-existent in the last years. Like Facts. by the time that nigga uh, got to the end, and that's no shot at Shaq because he's still the greatest center of all time. But Facts. I'm just saying by the time it came to the end of his career, man, we was like. Ugh, I, I don't want to see this nigga in Boston. I don't want to see this nigga in Cleveland. The Suns and shit. The Suns. They put that nigga in the, with the Suns. They was a running offense. I'm like, what the fuck yeah. is Shaq going to do in this motherfucker? Steve Nash was... I seen Steve Nash look back on the break. He said, I'm going to stay back, dog. It was getting <laughs> wild out there, Play man. D. But, but no, nah, man. He, shake back, Zion, though, man. Um, you know. No, don't shake back. Just lead the 
fucking chicken and all that That's shit alone. That's what I'm saying. Just shake back, man. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and, you know, get in that gym, man, every day, man. Get them honey shots up, man. Whatever you got to do, bro, man. Definitely get that regimen going, bro, because I feel like you the future. You one of the you know, future players, but you supposed to be in the future of the NBA, but uh, you definitely one of the players in the future still out there, man, for this NBA league. So let's get that shit going, bro, man. Mm, burgers and shit. But uh, jumping into something else real quick, man. Uh, I had seen Moneybag Yo. Uh, Moneybag Yo, I think he was doing like an autograph sign or something like that, man, an event. Yeah, I think he was in Vegas. He had a little, I don't know, no residence, but he was in <coughs> Vegas and shit doing a, um, a signing. Yeah. Something he had going on, man. It was crazy, though, man. And um, basically, man, he was doing a signing, man. And um, yeah, man, one of those, uh, what they call them, process servers, man. Them was uh, Fernando, they way up in the you know, system <laughs> in there, bro. And they served my boy, man. They served him, bro. That nigga face was like, huh? Yeah. What's get, this for? I just made Mersey. For real. Like, they gave that man that, uh, I mean, it, like, it can happen to anybody. I done seen niggas get served all the time, man. Like, that ain't nothing new or nothing like that, but it just it was just funny, really, man, just seeing him get served, man, you know, and him not knowing, you know, what the fuck was going on. Like, he looked like he just was oblivious to Bro, it. Bro, he was like, so oblivious to it. And it's supposed to be over some show shit, man, where a nigga, how <coughs> that go, nigga didn't do the show or ran off. I don't know if he ran off or not, but it was a promoter that yeah. was serving him. And it was yeah, just Yeah, they crazy. said it was over. No, they said that it was a show, man, and I guess that, you know, he... uh you know, he, he didn't fulfill his part of the contract. He didn't show us something like that, man. He didn't. That's what they were saying. But I guess... Nigga, I don't know. that's what I just said. No, you said that somebody <laughs> ran off. I know you said the no, promoter I said ran had, off. No, no, I said the promoter, he had did a show. And then I thought you said the promoter show. ran off with the money. Oh, no, 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 no. He's uh, serving him, shit. Okay, okay. okay. But no, nah, it's basically the same thing. But yeah, that nigga was oblivious because he, he was signing the little thing like, excuse me, <laughs> nigga came up. I'm like... My man wasn't ready for that. He man. wasn't ready for that. He too country for that, bro. But you know, man, shout out to you know, shout out to Moneybag, man. Like, I, I need to get some new music though. I ain't really heard nothing from Moneybag in a minute. Well, he been working with the Bread Gang. He got his own situation, so he got a lot. Of, he got a lot of artists that he uh, yeah. that's under him, bro. So he, he been to doing work that on the Moneybag album, then, man, something like that, man. Cause I ain't heard nothing really from him in the last. Hey, man, night. he kept he kept kept you niggas fed during the pandemic, oh, no, man. man. Moneybag yeah, is man. one of the few artists that I will say, man, that you know I definitely do be checking in for his music. Hey, man, Black Youngster, man. Even I love Black Youngster uh, stage presence. Hey, that boy you know hilarious, man. man. Ain't nobody like him. Like he got low, like I feel like he got real low. Uh, Black youngster, like, he got I would low too. I would too though. Like, people forget yeah, a lot of shit happened to him. Man. Besides that Dolph stuff, he was in. In yeah, he was in that. And then you gotta you gotta think he just he just got out of that. He just got out of that. I ain't know he was out of it, but you know what no, no, he got out of that though. Man, well, salute to him, man. I don't know, man. It's and then his uh, brother got killed. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I heard about that, yeah. So sometimes, you know, you don't know how you react. You got to get low. Thanks, you know what I'm saying? Man. But he back out here, I see, man. I seen that shit. It was a while ago that went viral, man, when that nigga had, when he fell on the stage and rolled over. <laughs> it was like, this yeah, nigga. that was yeah. classic right there. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga tripped over something, bro, and fell in and fell into a motherfucking uh, fetal. <laughs> Not fetal, but that nigga fell into gun hole, nigga. Uh, nigga fell in his stomach, man. He fell in his stomach and hit the sniper shit. Sniper, said, yeah. Boy, this nigga Sniper is. pose on that ass, bro. So that's legendary, man. But uh, no, shout out to Money Bag, man. Shout out to the whole CMG over there, man. Loving the music, man. That's over there. Uh, they got it. They, they did have like a little uh, group album they was working on. Oh, I guess. They, they definitely they already released the second yeah, they released one. The, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that was kind of fire. That's why I say yeah, definitely get some more Money Bag though. But um, another shit I want to jump into, man. We going through these ones right here, man. Cause these shits is hilarious, man. Uh, Ricky Williams, man. Did you see this stuff, man? With Ricky Williams, man. Uh, first off, man. If y'all don't know who Ricky Williams is, a lot of y'all are younger, you know, subscribers, man. Ricky Williams was a running back that played for Texas, man. Uh, one of the, probably one of the best. Hey, did he win the Heisman? Yeah, I think so, man. Ricky if he didn't win the Heisman, I believe he did. But if he didn't win the Heisman, he, he should have won it. But the nigga was like one of the most highly regarded, you know, college football players coming out at that time, man, in the early 2000s, man. Yeah. And, um, like, if you if you know who Reggie Bush is, that's kind of give you like how highly regarded he was coming out of college or or on some Tim Tebow shit. Even though he like he was like skill wise, this nigga was crazy. But I'm just saying like his name was ringing like that, man. Yeah, he was hot, 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 man. But Ricky Williams, man, he had a little wild, you know, career, man. You know what I'm saying? He signed a Master P, you know. Uh, 
that was the, that was the downfall. He signed a master P. They said, man, they, he was working on a, a, a incentive contract, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga had to, he had to scope, he had to get five thousand yards, man, to get paid. Nigga had to have a, uh, that nigga had to have a, uh, a season like the nigga that played for the Raiders back in the day for him to get a. <laughs> that nigga had to have a season like uh, Bo Jackson on Tecmo Bowl, yeah. bro, to get Damn. his pay, bro. But no, uh, I had seen that uh, basically he said that you know he's doing like a little switch of what he's doing with his marriage, man, and they're gonna he's gonna take on his wife's last name. He a wild boy, man. Yeah, man. I didn't even know the wording for it, so I just said, man, you know they doing. I don't even man. know the wording for it too, man. Niggas can't stick to tradition, man. Yeah. Like niggas love to be different. And, 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 and he and he married to a sweet Becky. That nigga name might be Ricky Mitchell. I mean, we didn't, we didn't. <laughs> Nothing against the old girl because this yeah. is his wife, but I'm not changing my name to Pacowski. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Ain't gonna we didn't expect there. anything different from, you know, his wife, but I mean, to each his own, nobody don't care who he is. Right, nobody care about that, but it, that's just yeah. crazy. I know what he probably owns from breaking the cycle type shit. Which, that ain't the cycle we break, though. But man. that ain't the one. That ain't the tradition we break. You know what I'm saying? Shout I wish out his I would wife, marry. But, I wish I would marry a woman, bro, and then, like, literally be like, yo, I'm going to take on her last name. You know what I'm saying? Like, be just, like, man, these chicks eat that. What type of nigga are yeah, you? If that's the case, man, like, nigga, you just rather go ahead, motherfucking take on the old role reversal then. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might just let her, let her go to work and you stay home. She probably already is. Nah. <laughs> Maybe so, though. Maybe so. Hey, you know, hey, you know athletes, when they retire, them niggas don't be having shit to do. And you already see with the Tiana Taylor, the athletes yeah. retire, she, only person going to make it after retirement is LeBron. You know what I'm saying? They treat LeBron and Savannah, they like the proud family. But all you other niggas, though? If I Savannah know. if Savannah was to leave LeBron, bro, man, that nigga, like, that nigga is the most eligible as bachelor out this mug, bro, man. Brian and, bro, Brian can crack the one that we think that nobody can crack. Tell mm, you, bro. I don't know, man. Forbid Savannah uh, leave. Brian that, man, goofy, bro. though, man. You know, that's matter, the day, bro. Brian, Brian is goofy, that man. nigga out here, though. He's, this is Brian, bro. Like, it's a whole different, like, swag of Brian and Michael Jordan, bro. Just Shit. keep it on it. Brian is Brian, bro. But, like, back to Ricky Williams, though, man. Like, I don't think that, you know what I'm saying, like, that was, like, a a logical idea to do, man. Because, like I said, man, it's like, who wants, you mean, how, how that go with your kids, man? You know what I'm saying? Like. Everybody named Pukowski now. Like, yeah, you got man. Like, Ricky Jr. Pukowski and it feel like your lineage is a man because the lineage comes from, you know, the seed of a man. So it's not like... Not in that household. How, how do your lineage get passed on? I mean, it's getting passed on, but, like, how do your last name, you know, everything get passed on, bro? That's just crazy. He said we just... Or not get passed on. We gonna end this shit right here in 2023. <laughs> we coming over, nigga. It make you think, though. It make you think because I'm like, you know, we were just saying, like, okay, you know, he got a, you know... He got a, you know, he got a white girl, you know, which ain't nothing wrong with that, man. I didn't talk to white girls in my life as well. Little, sweet little Everybody, Mikey. you know, we, we, it's 2023. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, is he trying to erase something? It's Does he not want that Williams name attached to this shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, he gonna fuck around. His kids gonna get grown. They gonna reverse that shit back. Nigga, we starting this shit over again, man. One to one, nigga. It give me Michael Jackson type vibes. No, you know, no slander, but I'm just saying, because you know yeah, Michael but Jackson. but he ain't never tried to take the Jackson out, though. I mean, the shit was so big. Man, he, <laughs> he ain't stupid now, nigga. Like, he but wasn't. That's weird, though. I'm just going to say it. And I, and I always try to be an advocate for Ricky, man, because as we know, he's one of the most legendary weed smokers in the NFL before and it that, was popular. Because that, yeah. that's why they tried to ban him from the league. Because he yeah. was just. But he always been an earthy type nigga. He, he one of them people that walk in the mud with his shoes on. He want to feel the nature. And it, it ain't surprising, but that do sound like you trying to just break that line. It's like, yo, bro. He, yeah, bro. This my, is it, man. My wife name will go on. It's like, I mean, it feel like you just trying to break away from anything black. It sound like to me. That's I'm just going to get to the, you know, bread and butter of it. It sound like you're trying to break away from anything black. He ain't been black in a minute, man. I ain't going to lie. Bro. I know. Talented you know nigga, man. But when he was coming out of Texas, he was like that. I was like, oh, you. Oh. Okay. And he came out of Texas, too, boy, man. Farm boy. Shout out, Ricky, man. If that's what you want to do, I ain't going to even disrespect you and say Williams. But if that's what you want to well, do, Well, he don't brother, want you to call him Williams from what he's saying, right? Well, he don't Ricky want Pukowski, you to call him that, man. I got you, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with it, bro. Ricky Live Pukowski. your life, bro. You know what I mean? You think Ricky, Ricky Pukowski could have ran like that, man, at Texas? Bro? <laughs> yeah. Keep it nah, up. that was Big Williams, Ricky Williams. That was Ricky Williams, man. You know what I mean? 
And do you remember the interview? I'm gonna leave it alone. But you remember the uh the outside was that not outside the is it outside the lines? I think it was, bro. Back in the day, right man. In the day, yeah, when they did the interview at ESPN. No, 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 my bad. It was thirty for thirty. No, it had to be like one of those or something, man. He got like he probably got a thirty for thirty as well too. But uh, you remember he was they the interview told him he's like you got something right here on your uh your beard, bro. <laughs> and that nigga said, I know. <laughs> I know nigga. Dead bugger in his bed. He, he like, kept the interview going. Like, he's like, I know. Just kept it going, bro. Dude. It's all nature. Like, Get the hell out of here, man. You got a yeah. bugger in your nose, nigga. I'm trying to tell you. Shout out to Ricky, man. Shout out to Ricky, man. I'm going to leave that boy alone, man. But uh, what else out there, bro, man? Hey, man, we get into the bullshit, man. I seen Blueface. Yeah, it's been crap. Man, I try to. Try to stay away from them. Yeah, I try to leave them alone. You know what I'm saying? But they just keep calling me back. Like, calling me back. All the time. I seen Blueface, just to get to it, man. Whole line. He don't say he don't took the swab. It don't DNA the baby. Nigga, like, you should have been there. That I don't know what what the hold up was on that. I got a baby by Kershawn. That baby getting swabbed. Man, that baby getting swabbed, nigga. I'm getting ankle meat, nigga. (laughs) But, uh, so, man, he took the DNA test, man. Said the baby wasn't here. That's what he's saying. Now, I I call it cap. Because any nigga take a DNA test, you going to post that motherfucker online. I might not post it, man, but nah, she don't. The type, but but yeah. the, their relationship is vi- they they're all yeah. over the internet. So if you that baby wasn't yours, nigga, you would have posted that shit online. Ah, bitch lying. Ha, ah, you know what I'm saying? And it, you know that riled her back up. She called back in talking about the nigga was watching gay porn and yeah. Ain't that like yeah. every girl like uh, yeah. like and I mean, I don't know, I I don't know what that nigga got going on, man, cuz she might I don't even believe the shit, but I'm just saying like I don't know what that nigga got going on. But is that like a girl like come back, bro? Anytime like a nigga get into some shit with her, or you know they break up, or that nigga gay, uh, or you know little dick, oh, you and got you a little gay. dick, yeah. You know Those what are the top two things. Top Those, two. They think they can break your heart. I will be like, I ain't thinking about that. And nigga <laughs> like, nigga be like, uh, one, I ain't gay. Two, I still fuck. <laughs> That's how the common nigga mind thinks. So you know what I'm saying? To the nigga, me an Xbox, man. bitch. Yeah, but. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? You know, I don't know their relationship of what's going on in the inner, you know what I'm saying, part of it, but uh, that paternity test, though. That paternity test, bro. He got to... You believe it? I don't really believe it. I think he's still the father, man. And it's just... It's just... They just... It's so redundant with them, bro. They make me tired sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because now... That tied into the offset shit. You know, he got the saying, ah, you fuck offset. Yeah. Giving the exact dates, too. That was kind of, yeah. That was kind of puzzling right there. I'm puzzling. I'm like, like, damn, you know the date and the time frame? But who's bitter, though? Because, you know, just putting it all in, you know, the same room right now. Uh, Krishan got a nigga. She got a new boyfriend, man. And uh, got that nigga named Tatic, got blue face shit removed, which is kind of crazy, surprisingly. She removed the nigga and added another <laughs> nigga. Yeah, that's, dude, that's different right that's there. That's different. But uh, I'm kind of happy. He's kind of like happy for it, <laughs> bro. Like damn, man. I'm I'm happy they that I'm happy they they apart. But and boy, she gonna be getting that tattoo took off too, man. Yeah. She don't like going nowhere, bro. She one of them chicks. I say, Chris, just work on yourself. Get your money. Yeah, I sure. would be, man. If I was her, man. You just had a baby. Let's not forget. The baby ain't six months. Let's not forget this, bro. Man, that nigga ain't two months. The nigga don't bro. been on the world tour. Bro. Like, come on, bro. He out, like I said last episode, he outside more than me, bro. Man. And he's not six months old. So we're feeling the fact that she moving like this with a newborn. Yeah. Like the the baby man, like ain't been her out. Her titties here. probably still shoot breast milk out, bro. Like she yeah. come on, bro. Like this is crazy. Baby ain't breathed in a good, you know what I'm saying, two months of air yet, bro. And he already done touched all areas of this country. I feel for the baby, man. He done been to the East Coast, the West Coast. I ain't been to the West Coast in the last... I ain't been to the West Coast in years. That baby done been to the West Coast, the East Coast, down South. He done been, to, he done been up top. I know what that he baby... Probably about to, he probably get his passport. I know what that baby can talk, man. He probably like, damn, man, I'm only like three months. I don't see so many niggas in my face. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga, this then my mama. God damn, this is my, my grandmama. My grandma crazy, my bet, my... my, my my uh, father is crazy. Boy. My mother is crazy, crazy. And my stepmom, she crazy too, bro. <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> man, man. I don't know, man. I just, uh, 
I think that, you know, together they make a bag. I understand that, man. But I think the only reason they make a bag together is because of all the drama. So yeah. once the drama, you know what I'm saying, that goes away, I don't think it's going to be a lot of, you know, you know, money out here for them, man. So I think that's why this shit just continues to just keep on going, bro. Yeah, that nigga Blueface going through it right now. I think he ain't with the baby mama either. Like, but you never know with that shit. The motherfucker be them two together, and then she be back against Krishan the next week. So it's kind of like... But it's different though. They don't win and got cool supposedly. So this kind of different. It's a different. You know, it's a different look. For dynamic. Them, man. It's a different look. I would say, man. But I feel that you know they got to get back in the. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna say they got to, man. But like, cause music. I was about to say they got to get back in the studio, and make some music, bro. Like at least Jaden, because she actually got a. She got a look. You like that little Bob? I heard you around this motherfucker before we got ready to put that down. You the know, song like, is going. Hello, motherfucker. Man. I was like, what the fuck is this? They keep saying this shit for. Yeah, man. That part is it. It's a little shit crazy. It's a little addictive that part, man. Like, <laughs> but no, I mean he got a he got a bot with her, man. But I just think like Blueface, I don't even think he care about being a rapper no more. I think that's a long, you know, long way from him where his man, mind is. At. Blueface, like I'm viral now, bro. I don't care nothing about that, bro. He got a new show coming out. Which you probably about to sign another chick to mill. It's say a million dollars and you sign a mill music called like uh it's something like Hip Hop West, ladies. It's for the girls on the West Coast, basically. They gave him another show, Greenlit. Is it Zeus? Yeah, I seen Dang. the uh, trailer for it, man. He did Who a lot like, of uh, Mr. Zeus, Rogers. Because them niggas get bags out Oh, there, you talking man. about the nigga, oh, the nigga that be smashed them all to get them on there? They oh, said. Okay. Some it. young, it's a black dude, though. Straight okay. black dude, man. Maybe in his 30s. He's giving something. out bags over there. Giving Zeus, out man. bags, but you got to give out a bag, too. <laughs> yeah, man. You want to be on Baddies East? Yeah. I don't know, Holly. man, but. Hey, man, you know, shout out to them, man. Kashan and Blueface and Jade, man. The Three Stooges, man. I told you, man. <laughs> we called them the Three Stooges. But another funny but serious topic, man. Uh, Charleston White, man. They finally they finally got to him, bro. Man. If y'all haven't seen out here, man, to all the subscribers out there, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you ain't already, man. But, uh, yeah, man, they, they got across the stage on Charleston, man. Uh Charleston White was doing a comedy show out in somewhere, man, and it had to be like a down south or somewhere. Bro. Yeah, that shit looked like that shit was but fuck Texas. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it Some was old, in Texas. It was in Texas. It was definitely in Texas. It was, I, in that Texas. was country. Yeah, yeah. But they was in Texas, man. He was doing a show, man. And um uh I don't even know why Charleston White started you know going at the crowd, man. I mean, they must have been doing mm. some throwing up hand signs or whatever. Born or whatever. But he keyed in on a few people, man. One is a dude in the LA jersey, man, and they got into a, you know, verbal back and forth, man. And, shh, man, Charleston, man, like I said, man, he goes for it. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't one nigga that go over the edge. Yeah. That nigga go over the edge, bro. Like I respect it, though, a little bit because I'm like, at least that nigga get his in first. And then, you know what I'm saying, he popped first, basically. Oh, he always going to pop first. He ain't waiting. He popped with a flower pot this time, bro, man. <laughs> nigga said, hey, I'm sick of this shit, bro. <laughs> nigga threw a Mother's Day flower pot at the Mother's nigga, Day man. Flower pot, man. Roses and shit. Early days, man. I'm like, damn, bro. So hit you trying nigga. to tell me that nigga hit that nigga with flower soils in the pot? And and then after that, followed up with a mic to the top of the head, bro. <laughs> man, hey, and he man. slung that mic like he was bowling. He yeah, man. Put a curve on that motherfucker, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Like the boy, man. He, well, let me finish the story. So you know, he's you know, dude jumps on the stage after that, man. And uh, after Charleston White hits him with a flower pot, as he's going towards Charleston White, man, he hits him with a mic. Then old boy, man, just takes off, man, and goes goes Goldberg on him, man. <laughs> Spirit <laughs> hit him with the edge. <laughs> and, to, to, you know, Charleston White, man, to him, though, I ain't gonna lie, man, he had, like, I don't know, look like 10 bands or something that he had, man, and them niggas did not get the money, bro, and and they, they, they I guess he said he dropped it, right? Yeah, yeah, he had it in his hand when he got hit with the spear, so he had it in his hand, and then he said it fell out, and the niggas was so eager to uh, miss punches and kicks yeah. in the midst of the shit, they, they he get up and get the bag. I'm like, I always oh. say, bro, like I said that on the episode, man, back like in the day, man, I, don't, I ain't gonna say back in the day, I'm talking about on this, on this, uh, this podcast shit, man, but we talked about it, man, like it don't take that many niggas to jump a nigga, bro. Nah. Two, two really, three at the most. Yeah, he you know had like about four or five niggas over, over there, but I couldn't really count They hit each other. Man, I don't know what them niggas was doing. All I know is when he got on the camera 30 minutes later in the back of the spreader, that nigga didn't have not a scratch on him. 
Like, and my thing be like with Charles Lamar, I be like, bro, that nigga is like tiny, bro. Like he tiny than a mug, bro. Like Charleston White, from my me looking on 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 the screen, man, Charleston White looked like he can't be no more than about five, what three, five two, five man, three. Man, he ain't no maybe, bigger than five five, bro. Maybe five five, maybe he's something small, like that. bro. Maybe about a hundred. 30, 20? 130, 135 pounds, bro. I'm like, bro, man, if you can't get your hands on that nigga, bro, man, but every time, bro, man, nigga, every time it, man. he undefeated, bro. He they thought that it. was the end. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, they finally got the nigga as expected. But then I seen the results. I was like, yeah. damn, he ain't got a scratch on him, and he still got the bag. Niggas ain't get the bag. When is the win, bro? That nigga was like, I got the back in. Man, I mean, you can't even be mad at it, man. You just got to shout it out, though, man. Charleston White is definitely, man, like he's winning on these, bro. Like, I would not, I don't like, know, man. Y'all niggas need to watch film on how to properly jump a nigga, man, or something, bro. Because I've just never seen four-plus niggas just not leave a nigga with a scratch, bruise. Nigga, I would have stepped on a nigga ankle or something. I would have just did something to hinder him getting about. I would have stumped on a nigga ankle, knee. I'm breaking the ACL. Man. I don't even, Get you to know the money, man? bro. Let's keep it real. Get to the money, Get bro. the money. Get to the money, bro. Like, we going to yeah. go, out to, go off to all this shit, man. Man, like, my first mind and my my eyes is all on the money. I'm not thinking about trying to really, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, that fight with it as soon as I got the money. Oh, that, oh, oh, I don't even fight it. We at the Waffle House, bro. At the Waffle House, bro. And I don't even eat Waffle House, bro. I don't eat the bag, but <laughs> extra bacon and pancakes for everybody, nigga. I'm just, I'm in there balling Get out, Get a little bro. homies with me, a hundred apiece. I keep the other, uh, the other nine bands. Thanks, man. <laughs> but, um, another thing I wanted to jump into real quick, man, uh, Megan Thee Stallion, bro, man. Meg Thee Stallion, bro. She's back out here, man, on social media, man, and. Megan, man, uh, she got a lot going on, man, because she decided to, I guess, come back out, man, and defend herself, you know, with the whole, you know, Partisan Fontaine finally defending himself. And uh, she responded and said, man, basically, like, you know, how, you know, like, she basically said that, you know, the ex that she was talking about in the song, you know, she didn't put a name on it. So, you know, why you, why you responded and all this and that? Like, she didn't, leave, like, leave it. Like, she didn't leave it like it was that nigga this whole time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She put that out there, and then she went off and, you know, went at, you know, Kelsey. You know what I'm saying? And the bodyguard, because the bodyguard, I guess, this week, that's new news as well, man. The bodyguard submitted a claim or submitted a letter to the court saying that he seen Kelsey with the gun. You know what I'm saying? As well. So... A lot of, you know, spooky hour shit going on this week, y'all. That nigga popped up, man. That nigga, that, <laughs> that nigga was at when the trial was going on, man. That nigga man. got low. That, that nigga, nigga got was, low. He went to the Dominican Republic and changed his name to Hector. <laughs> but no, that, that 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 that's crazy, bro. And I and I, I, I know what other people are saying is, but I'm just so tired of the playing victim. And I got sympathy for all my women that may have been in situations like that. Cause at the end of the day, that girl said she got shot. I don't Facts. want no female to get shot. I wish that on nobody. But the victim role, I've never seen somebody do so much shit. And then as soon as a nigga say, I, like, I, I listen to what Partisan did. And for one, he ain't just out there doing. He nigga with, Nigga's dropping an album. Yeah. So he's out on the Breakfast Club. He's doing his promo runs. He's know he's going to be asked about this. What you expect? The nigga didn't say nothing for a long time. I ain't hear him say a word. I ain't saying a word, bro. All through that trial, held you down. Didn't say a word. And that's what all the slander that was going on. And they on. was killing his ass, too. You know how many, like I say, beefs he picked up due to you in the industry? <laughs> in this music industry? Yeah. You don't pick up beefs with the baby and shit? That might be the nigga to give you a hit. Of, you never know. You don't burn the and bridge because of her. It's like, but how would you feel like... She she ain't put herself in that nigga's shoes at all. It's like, how would you feel if you going through... Your, your girlfriend going through a trial... And not only is she going through a trial, you know, being the victim in, or, you know what I'm saying? She was the victim in the trial, you know what I'm saying? And all these things is coming out about all these past sexual, you know what I'm saying, experiences she didn't have with these niggas. And you come to her. Like, you you like you shocked about all this, you know what I'm saying? You find out, like, damn, you fucked this nigga. Oh, or you had anything going with this nigga, you just, this is all news to you. But you, this is all what he says. You know, you come to her and you ask her. You ask her, like, yo, so this, yo, did you really fuck with this nigga? Nah. But you you in court and you hearing this shit. You know what I'm saying? You hearing this like, this is, we in court. 
You like, yo, they saying you fucked this nigga, but you telling me, nah, you did not fuck with this nigga. And it's like, damn. You know what I'm once saying? Once a nigga, wow, that felt the once you. And then, wanted. like he said, she said, no. That's what he said in the song. That's what I'm getting to in that song. He said, did he ask me about these niggas? He said that, you know, she said no. So, picture getting all that information, bro, and you like, damn, bro. Not only, I'm, that's a that's a hard spot to be in when you you supposed to be the supportive motherfucker. But then, you know what I'm saying, to the medium level, you got to be the supportive guy, man. But in the end, you looking like, damn, man, this girl ain't even being yeah, real with me. She don't shit it on me. You know what I mean? And then the what 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 just and it's like another thing with Megan is it's like it's like it's her against the world and shit. Yeah. She like the and the way you speak the 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 way you put energy in the universe. I just don't like it right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like she said some shit about Tori and shit. She was just like, I know who shot me. That nigga shot me, and that's why that nigga locked up. I'm like, all right, now you just on some okay, man. I mean, I if he if he did shoot her. I mean, she can feel that way, man. I can't be mad at her. And ain't nothing wrong feels. with feeling it, but, but. You can't be half in, halfway out. Yeah. Though. You can't sit there, Meg, and be like, okay, like, I didn't fuck with him. I don't know this. Don't lie. Like, you got when you give it, like, it's like, man, when them niggas motherfucking turn government informant, bro, or state, you know what I'm saying, evidence, bro, when they do that, you know what I'm saying? When they do it to the feds or state, whatever, whatever, whatever they working with, whatever agency, bro, you got to tell it all. All of it. You know what I'm saying? So you can't give half truths, bro. You can't sit there and be like, all right, well, I'm going to be the victim in this shit. I'm the victim. But I'm only going to tell y'all the parts that make me look like the victim or that make me look better in this. I'm not going to tell about, um, I was dealing with this nigga. We was arguing in the car about me fucking, fucking. Another. Him. Allegedly fucking this nigga and you wasn't even supposed to be fucking him because your, your friend supposed to be fucking him. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you can't leave that shit out because you don't want to look like Oh. Yep. And that's all it is. You know? You know what I'm saying? I would rather you just live your truth. If you, if you if you like to go and do all that, do that. But expect the karma. Don't I don't want to hear the victim shit every time somebody mention your name. Is it For is real. it is um you being called a hoe worth me serving all this time or even me being, you know what I'm saying, in this spot to where you got me out here just looking like we just like I just you know what I'm saying? I just up and shot you. Or, you know, it was nothing before. That's what makes the case look so crazy because it's just like, okay, the nigga just, it make that nigga look like a, it make that nigga, what's the word, man? Like that nigga look like a Sylvester out here or something, but that nigga just, he's just a dark like person, bro. Like he just bro. hanging along and shit, like, yo, man. like, what, what you, and that's just the thing, and just like her, just her track history and everything from all the relationships, the lying, even to the record label shit, like, it's always a problem. Yeah. Always a problem. There's always somebody that was wrong. And we not attacking Meg like that. We just going off of what's out here right now. If Meg drops something tomorrow, niggas going to play it. Facts. If Meg, if Meg come out here looking, she always looking good. She come out here and she looking good in the photo. Niggas going to like it. So it's not like a niggas against Meg. We just not with the whole just like playing the victim role of it, man. That's all, man. That's all. Yeah, man. Because... That's just crazy, man. Just that nigga doing his job. He doing his promotion, his promo. They asking him questions. They why they you? So you thought he was gonna do the interview? And they wasn't. You made this song that created this whole issue, by the way. And she never spoke on this shit. She when it never was spoke on it after that. She just said a nigga did so and so got in my bed, whatever. But she created this whole shit for her rollout that she thought was gonna be fire. Yeah. And now she mad because the niggas are. Right. Doing interviews and they're asking him about it, and she could have easily said, like you said, she could she could have easily just stepped in after two weeks of promo went by. She could have right before the nigga did the Breakfast Club interview, right before he came out on did his song, whatever. She, you know, the industry works, man. You know, shit works behind the scenes, bro. You know when a nigga about to drop a record, oh, you yeah. know when a nigga about to go on Breakfast Club. She could have been like, hey, let me put this out there. That's not partisan. I'm talking about. That's the soccer player, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's or the whoever. The nigga after, like, like I said, she said, like, she's like, y'all, y'all see, I got so many niggas and shit. I mess with so many niggas. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know who it is. Like, you, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> facts. We don't know who it is because you mess with so many niggas. But that is sad though. If they're like, I ain't gonna say it's sad, but that is kind of hot girlish. <laughs> Real you, hot girls. Yeah. If you if you if you broke up with partisan, you was we seen you with the nigga Romello, whatever his name is. Uh, shit, like a month later, whatever. Nigga. And if you done with that nigga and then another nigga got caught getting his dick sucked in your bed and all this shit, and I'm like, damn, this, you had like three niggas or three. What type of program going on three over there, Three niggas in six months. Like, but, <sighs> hey, man, uh, you know, 
Teach his own, man. Definitely, man. Meg, we definitely still support she you. She a wild school. girl. That's all I'm going to say on that. Wow, one, man. But uh, what else out there, bro? Oh, uh, man. So let's just get into it real quick, man. BMF is back on stars, man. <laughs> if y'all ain't watching that, man, it's one of the better shows to me as far as like that, you know, stars universe. And I do fuck with Raising Cannon. That's my shit. You know what I'm saying? But BMF. Um, they coming back, man. It's showing they got celebrities on here. I see, uh, what's old baby girl name? I see Saweetie. Oh, She's so fine. Yeah, she Damn, she fine. I see Lil Baby. Shocked the shit out of me to see Lil Baby, man. I see he coming out his shell a little bit now. Cause last time I seen Baby in in the locker room, he was punching. You know, he was I don't know oh, if he was yeah. out the perk six. Yeah. yeah, he was showing his one two combo. That shit was rusty as hell. But um and two chains, man, they got two chains and uh I seen two chains in one of them, bro. We had a big ass afro, Carl Thomas like. He is in that motherfucker. You know he tall, too. The nigga. <laughs> the nigga just... I mean, I like it, man. I mean, I like them having, you know, uh, or, you know, putting hip-hop, you know, putting hip-hop, you know what I'm saying, infused into it as well, since it is, you know, uh, a hip-hop-driven story. I mean, it's, yeah. it's from the streets, but it's, you know, Meech and them niggas was, you know, trying to get into the music business, you know, yeah. definitely hip-hop, you know what I'm saying, uh, based, you know what I'm saying, coming up in the 80s, late 80s and the 90s. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, I love, it. I love to see it. Only thing yeah. I do hope not happen is uh, it's just bad acting. I hope it's not man. Nice. It's not I just that, I'm the same way. I just hope it don't break the show because like he's what's the show? I think Snoop Dogg's in power too in one of. Them. I don't know which yeah, he's one, been on that, yeah. but it didn't break the show. You Snoop know what I'm saying? An actor though, yeah. He's acted before, so I don't want to see nobody that's never acted like or they don't act a lot. Or don't have that background. You know what I'm saying? You know what what I'm saying? Your, get your sad card first or something, man. Yeah, I don't want it to, you know, turn it on, man. But thinking about it, though, man, you just said it earlier, man. Puff Daddy is kind of tied into this. BMF. Yeah. yeah, he's tied into that, too, man. So I wouldn't be surprised, man, depending on how far they in that storyline. You may get a fake take that, take that. You know what I mean? So It got to be a part of this BMF story when you do, because when you get to Atlanta... Shit, we're probably before Atlanta, but when you definitely get to Atlanta, around that, uh, I ain't gonna even bring Atlanta into it, but when you in uh, uh, that 99, basically after Biggie died, mm -hmm. I would say 97 after Biggie died, you gotta kind of start, you know, bringing in Diddy or something around that time because, like, they were around. Like, the yeah. BMF, they was down. Same parties. They said, I think they said they came down there like 97, 98 or something like that, right? Yeah. Atlanta, and, yeah. They was like, if you go back and look, and then, like I said, you know, old documentaries, old, you know, Smack DVDs, these niggas have been a staple in, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, Atlanta party scene and New York party scene, as well as, you know, Diddy being in Detroit sometime. Yeah. So, I think it's, it's going to It's crazy, though, bro. It's, it's going to definitely go up, man. I think it's going to be a good watch, man. Oh, and then, uh, my bad, I cut you off, and then I forgot, yeah, I missed the big part. Then Wolf gets killed. And, uh, oh, and, yeah, that do Atlanta. tie into that situation, too. <clears throat> yeah, Wolf, uh, which is Diddy's bodyguard. And really man. started to downfall. And free my man Meech, man. First and foremost, I didn't say it, man, but free Big Meech, man. Um, and shout out Big Meech, man. Um, he's still down. You know, you know, T got out yeah, about T's a couple on. years ago. I think he's been down a solid almost 20 Coming up on 20 years, bro. Probably been down 20 by now. So we need to get me a trip out of that, man. They need to let him out that cell, man. Because it's kind of like, I be looking at it like, damn, man. It, it get to a point where niggas can do more for the youth and do more for their hood than being in there. Right. Like, damn, how much and, more you want a nigga to do? And me don't have no uh, no violent crimes on his shit. Nah, nah, no know, violent like crimes. Sure. And violent, you didn't catch him with nothing. Didn't catch him with nothing, bro. Only thing you could have you know, charged him with was bowling. Balling, bro. You know what I'm so, you know, Meech, man, Duffy, man. I think he'll be coming home very soon, though, man. You know, uh, 20 years has already went by. I think he got locked up in like 04, if I remember. Yeah, man. Uh, 04. 04. Man. And it, and, our, and, the, and the culture is so strong, bro. We niggas been keeping Big Meech name alive for so six, long, man. bro. From the songs to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That just tells you his presence, bro. We'd rather have that on these streets, bro, doing something positive, helping 50 with them. Shout out 50 for doing a series on them because when I first heard of it, and I'm not going to lie, when I first I was like, this shit going to be corny. This going to be like a document. I didn't know it was going to turn into a whole show show. Yeah. 
Yeah. And that just tells you how much history of Detroit, him, you know what I'm saying, the whole gang, BMF, it ties into a lot of people's stories. A and lot. I, I love what 50 doing because this is something that we always, me and bro, man, we always talked about doing because, you know, where we come from, man, it's like, you know, it's a lot of history just through Michigan, period, man. But me and bro just grew up, like, looking into all them, you know, crime documentary street shit. Niggas from around the way as well that, you know, we just, you know, heard stories about from around our ways. Right. So it's something that we <coughs> over here, at, you know, at 3MO Whittier, man, is definitely going to be trying to branch out into, you know, that's something that we want to do. We want to do, like, some documentary stories. And I, if it ain't a, a TV script, you know, still, like, documentaries, because there's a lot of figures out here that ain't even, some of them ain't even just street figures. It's a lot of figures out here, and it's, you know, Michigan, all across, man, that, you know, definitely can, you know, get a, a good, you know, story out here. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So definitely be on the lookout that from us too, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So again, man, free Big Meech, man. Shout out to BML. Shout out 50. One nigga I'm not going to shout out. Lil Meech, I fuck with you, man. I heard you got uh, Summer pregnant, man. man. You know what I'm saying? Bro, but I'm going to tell you me. one more time. Man. I'm going to tell you this from last week. Hey, bro. We taking them damn pictures with the mechanic hands, no, bro. You got to stop that, bro. I hope one of them on set tell you. Let out, man. I just got a feeling, man. He probably be on set like that. Just. Yeah, I seen that picture, bro. My man, like, he just dropped the damn motherfucking transmission, bro. Like, Whole damn transmission, bro. He dropped the engine, the transmission. Then he went and uh, did the oil filter on the car, man. And my <laughs> thing is like this, too, bro. I know you're a young nigga, man, but you wearing all these... these uh, these clothes that they came out, these that man, you can't have no hands like that getting in no clothes like that. Yeah, bro, but you know why it's like that though? Cause some are probably like that too. Man. Yeah, man. I'ma leave them alone, man. I'ma leave they, them alone, man. But they do kind of go together. I ain't gonna lie, they kind of like they they mesh right now, man. Like, <laughs> you said they, mesh. They mesh together. Well, I tell you what, man. they ain't showering together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to them, man. But uh, another thing I wanted to jump into real quick, man. Uh, we're getting ready close. Well, we are, yeah, we're getting close to an hour, man. But uh, Nicki Minaj, uh, she dropped her album, man. She dropped her, you know. Shout out, Nicki. What's the Pink Print 2? Uh, Pink, no, that's, uh, what is it, Pink Friday? Pink Friday? Pink Friday 2. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, uh, Pink Friday 2, no disrespect to the Nicki Minaj fans. Shout out, out Nicki, man. don't do that. Them barbs don't play, bro. I'm going to keep it 100 with you, man. I listened to the album, man, and... I listened to a little bit of it. I got to go back in and get another listen to it, man. But, I mean, it didn't sound bad to me or nothing like the how I seen social media was kind of, like, taken to it. You know what? After, yeah, social media was kind of killing it. But I heard some bad. I was watching her on the Castanet stream, man. I heard yeah. some bangers on that motherfucker. I was like, oh, That's I That's like what I'm that saying. Bob. Like, I was like, y'all, like, giving her, you know what I'm saying, all this hell before she even, even I wasn't even out, like, five hours. And I was like, oh, this shit, this ain't it. This trash. I, like I tell you what, she going to do some numbers, though. Oh, she did it. <laughs> she she going to do it, though, because I'm, no, I'm going to definitely sit back and listen to it. I, I'm glad she dropped it. Um, and I'm glad I seen um, when she was on the Constantine stream, man, she showed up, bro, like four hours late. Yeah, she should. But she got there, though. It was 3 o'clock day time. Cali time, bro. I thought he stayed in New York. Constantine, is, I think he's in Cali, bro. I thought he stayed in New York. But nah, I think he was in Cali. He came sure. to New York for that giveaway. I'm pretty sure he didn't care. All them niggas stayed. He there. from New York, so I always thought he stayed in New York. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna, man, have, to, know, we gonna have to pin that and find out, man. If y'all in that chat, man, or you hear this, uh, put in where uh, Kyson that film from, man. I thought he had bought a house in Cali. I didn't okay. know he was still. But um, but it was crazy though, man. When she was on that motherfucker, bro, she showed up, bro. Do you know it was almost 350k at three in the morning? Man. Still waiting. I mean, I can believe it, bro. It's Nikki, bro, man. Like, you know, I didn't see, like, you know, people do some numbers, like, like crazy on Instagram, but it's harder to get somebody to go get on Twitch. Now, that's what I'm saying. When people be talking about, oh, I can do a, all these numbers on Facebook or IG or whatever, like, it's easier to get them on IG and, you know, do a million in there or something like that, bro. But getting people to come on Twitch that ain't never been on there before. Never been on, man. Just to see Nikki or just to, you know, t uh, plug in for or tap in for a kite <clears throat> stream, bro. And I will say this. She was looking stellar out that motherfucker. When I say stellar. Yeah, bro. She was, man. Hey, man. I was like, yo, y'all chase need to get y'all gang together. I don't know what Nikki doing or what the workout plan is or how she put the what. Hey, look, I say it like this, man. That shit is in her. It ain't on her. Yeah, man. The queen was looking I ain't good. ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, and 
Like she just got that energy, man. I think uh, I think Nikki, man. She, you know, them niggas is like twenty years old, nineteen, twenty years old. Bro. Yeah. You know, and she was over there vibing three, four in the morning. Forty years old, eight twenty. It's a definitely an age gap, but she was definitely vibing. But she was giving like that big sus vibes to Kai. You know, like oh, he, yeah. he was saying some of that goofy shit. She was like, Nah, nigga. Ain't hey, <laughs> hey, no goofy nigga. time today. Yeah, don't do that goofy shit. You know what I mean? And I like her for that. You know, she like she she held herself up pretty well, bro. And I seen Elliot Wilson. Um, I tried to throw a little subliminal in there, man. He was mm. like, uh, this is journalism or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And he had interviewed Nikki for like, I think two times for an album release. And I'm like, damn, bro, why you hating on a young nigga, bro? Like, he was popping. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, like that nigga, Costner, is what's popping. That's what niggas is watching. Anytime, music, anything is popping, bro, niggas is going to go to that platform. They're going to go there. Yeah, I mean, it's switching over now, man. Like, back in the day, or not even back in the day, like I would say just even a few years ago, it was, you know, you had to still go to the Breakfast Club, Hot 97, um, uh, Big Boy. Big Boy in the morning. You know what I'm saying? You go out to, you know, even you go out to Atlanta, you know, mess with, you know, I forgot my man down there name, but behind them. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But now, um, you seeing everything kind of like, you know, Swaying over to, you know, podcasting and going over to, you know, streams and stuff. Yeah. Because right now I've been seeing, like, a real, real, you know, like, force with everybody going up to either Back on Fig, you know. Community. Community. Ace Boys. Ace Boys. Joe Budden Podcast. Academic. Guess, academics. Yeah. Kai. Kai. You know what I'm saying? No Jumper, even No Jumper. You no know Jumper these, well, They, they right? looking going to these platforms instead of going to sit down with Elliot Wilson or... The radio station, and breakfast they club, do go still sit get them. Down, and they do there. go sit down with Elliot, probably be at like Rap Radar or something like that. They podcast versus like it being at a a traditional, you know, radio station. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's a, I, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not against radio. I've never been against radio, but I think it's like, you know, kind of gives us like a little bit, the chains is breaking, I would say. Yeah. The game shifts every like three to five years, bro. So... By like 2026, we'll be on some other shit they doing. You know what I mean? And that and it's good to see the game evolve because everything is more accessible. Right. And that's how I wanted to see a Nikki interview because she looked at home. Right. It wasn't like it, how it would be at Breakfast Club. It was like yo, she was shaking her ass a little bit, talked about the album. You can't do that at Breakfast. Well, you, you know what I'm saying? Can't. She, I think the nigga bought his mother and daughter, and they was crying in tears. Niggas want to see that side of Nikki. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's the type of interview when you get Offset over there. Offset spent the night. Dang. You know what I'm saying? They did a 24 hour stream. So you got to think, though, you get to see these artists and you get to see other sides of these artists and get to see that these artists, some of them just like you. Nikki might have got in there if she didn't do it. What if she got in and bust down some rain? It's like, oh, fuck, nigga. But that's what. That's what consumers want to see. They want to. That's what the, a lot of the game and these interviews is missing. Just make people can be themselves. They ain't gotta be uh, media ready and talking about. You know, he hit everything. Talked about the album. Bought his homeboys in. They sniffing the seat when she left. And I'm glad she ain't bring her husband for some reason. Man, I just thought he that nigga was just gonna there, show. Man. I ain't want big groove there, man. Cause I ain't know if he's gonna show. He probably was there. He might have just been. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. I, I like the interview, and I think it's gonna. Open up a lot of doors for hip hop in general with just doing those type of interviews, just not with Kai, but yeah, you like it's the same when you're going back on fit. Niggas act like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you want them just to be in their own. You, you know want to be in their element. Yeah, you don't know the nigga element, in there man. ready to niggas spark up when they want to. You know what I'm right. saying? They can offer them a drink. You know what I'm saying? Or you can, like I say, you can bring your bring your peoples in with you and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's your own element. So I definitely think that was a big look for us, man. You know, definitely shout to Nikki. I'm a Pink Ooh. Friday too. Make sure y'all get that. I'm gonna listen to that tonight. Yeah, I was just gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna check back on that, man. I'll give y'all a better review of that, man. But um Kanye, speaking on albums, man. Kanye, man. My boy. Kanye, man. Uh he's out there, man. Well, he was he was planning to do a rave, I think, in like Dubai, I think it was, man. He was gonna throw a rave. You know, wild like boy, man. To like, you know, the preview was album, man. He was like pre uh, previewing songs off his album that he's working on. I think is, is, is this the album with uh Ty Dolla Sign? Yeah, him and Ty collab album. It's yeah. gonna be dope, I think, cause I like Ty Dolla Sign. Man, man, man we've been fucking with Ty Dolla Sign. Fuck with Ty Dolla Sign, bro. So what he used to call this shit? What we used Beach to call House One. Beach House One. You know dog. what I'm saying? Like 
when he used to do two songs in one, what they know about it? That was one of the most talented artists out there, bro, man. Sheesh. But uh, he did a, he did like a little rave out there, man. And um, Kanye, man, he, he he brought out the stars, man. You know. Yeah, he brought everybody out that piece, <coughs> man. Now he was walking around that motherfucker looking like a uh, a ninja turtle. He looked like a foot soldier around yeah, that motherfucker, wild, but. Man. Said his feet stink too, <laughs> but uh, but now nah, he bought everybody out there. Though, he got to chill on the fashion though, man. I, <laughs> he had on a uh, he had on like a Ku Klux Klan uh, black black little thing over yeah, his head. Yeah, bro. That I've been seeing that stand for something else. That actually has a uh, symbolic meaning of what he wore to it. So I knew it wasn't that though. Well, well explain it to us first. I'm talking about him, bro. He got to start explaining it to us. Yeah, he got to just he got to present it, man. Cause I didn't know what was going on. And the funny thing about it, he had the little turban. I seen Nor. I, I seen uh, his daughter out there, and she was. I say this. I don't know how the rapping gonna go. But she definitely got the stage presence of a star. Oh, no, she a she star. ain't scared of nothing, she man. She's a star, bro. Baby ready to go. She gone. Yeah. Like, you can tell, like, she just got it in her, bro. Like, you can see who personality she does we definitely have. Because, you know, Kim is real shy, you know what I'm saying? Kanye on the opposite side of that, you know what I'm saying? And, the braggadocious, you know. And the funny you know, thing about it, I wish, time I wish we would get that Kanye back, bro. Because he don't even like to let niggas see him smiling in, in public no more. And I seen that because while she was performing, mm -hmm. he was smiling his ass. He, I think nigga probably had goo. He was smiling his oh, ass. Yeah. He was so proud to see her perform. But as soon as he realized he was smiling, he put the thing over his face. I'm like, damn, bro. My nigga Kanye don't even like to smile in public no more, bro. Damn. Life, man. Life has been real, Life girl. be life -ing. Yeah, be life -ing at you sometimes, man, with all the things you got going on. But I think it's a good look, though, man, because, like, I always say when you go through something like how Kanye went through with, you know, definitely, man, losing his, or, you know, his, his divorce from his wife, uh, you know. Shit, he just divorced a new one. Oh, he divorced already? <laughs> Hell yeah, she gone, bro. Damn, Kanye, get him out. Get him out. <laughs> get him in, get him out. But, boy. Nigga. Sign to just close your bitch. <laughs> man, boy. But no, nah, man, I just think when you're going through something like that, you got to have like an outlet, man, to, you know what I'm saying, get all that out, man. And definitely something that's going to take your mind and your energy and put it in the, if you ain't, especially when you, and you got kids attached to it and you ain't the, the custodial parent that's in the house with them every day. So you get, you, you ain't, you, you got, you left with a lot of time to yourself. So you like, man, what else can I, you know, put that time in? Most niggas put it into, you know, uh, some niggas go the dark way. Some niggas go into drinking. Some niggas go into, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, maybe, they, maybe they think it's the smoke. Some niggas might go into just fucking with hoes. You know what I'm saying? So he took it in, man, and he said, you know what, man, I'm going to go ahead and get back into what I do best, man, which is going to you know, do it, go ahead and do, the, uh, do this album. You know, uh, definitely create this great music with Todd Dollar Sign. So. Yeah, man. They a vibe, though, bro. I've been liking what I've been hearing. Even they, uh, I see they flip the Backstreet Boys. Was, was it Black Street? No. Back Street. I don't know. Back whatever. Street boys, the niggas man. on the Back Street, Black Street, Blackstons. I don't know what Black they talking about. Black Street is called Black Street. Back Street Boys. Oh, I don't Street. mix Black Street with uh, Back. Yeah, man. Oh, it's damn, man. Teddy My Riley. bad, Teddy. Teddy Riley gonna whoop your ass. Man. <laughs> My bad, Teddy, man. But I heard the sample of the Everybody sample, man. I was, I actually liked the joint. I was like, oh, this is dope. This is. Man, but you no, know, man. Shout out to Kanye, man. I definitely, man, was liking what I was hearing there, man. Definitely with the, you know, Northwest stuff as well, man. Just getting your daughter included in the mix. So. Yes, sir. And I seen you bought Freddie one. Gibbs out. I said that already, bro. Oh, you bought Freddie? You said Freddie? Yeah, man. I said right. that already, Just man. making sure we said Freddie. They over there drinking Takaka back there, man. Kodak, yeah. too. Shout out Kodak. But uh, Draymond Green, man. Uh, hometown legend, man. My, my man's from back home, bro. Draymond yeah. has been suspended indefinitely, man, by the NBA, man, for his... Uh, I don't even want to call it a punch, man. A little swing around, man. Hit that he got on Nurk the other night. Man, that pimp hand strong punch. Man, bro, like, I'm, I, it's Team Draymond over here, man, but I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. That was a little bit rough right there. I don't even know what to say. I was speechless. I was like, damn, my nigga, you just did it just uh, about two, three weeks ago. You just choked the nigga out. How you going to yeah. come back on that time still? The nigga still on probation, man. Bro, it was just too much, bro. And I I, I, I hated that, man, because it, it was cring I was cringing when I seen it. I said, God damn, he gone again. And this time, they just like, bro, man, this indefinitely, bro. You know, anytime I hear somebody say indefinitely, I'll be like, damn, bro, that mean they dropped to fire me somewhere down the line or something. They, 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 that nigga, man. they not firing him, but they just basically, when a nigga don't put no 
games on it. They just be like, bro, you got to go get yourself right and come about back. To, he'll, he'll be back. I just I just think that they just got to do something right now because of the whole, like, the choke out was crazy. That was crazy. Like, like we all understood it, but it still was crazy, though, because, you know, he, he did have that nigga tapping out. What's more crazy when I think about the choke out is that, you know, that scuffle where it happened for a minute. You know that nigga came from the other side of the court and choked him out, dog? Like, he, yeah, that's he that's ran over there. He ran over there. He wasn't there. Then he torqued it or torqued it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that ain't, bro. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga neck was like, literally, man, veins was bowling out that mug, bro. <laughs> he, he had that wrestler vein in the really? middle of that shit. Nigga, hey, daddy, you got to stop, bro. Like, like it, it's getting to be like, to me, it's just getting to be like it's putting a target. It already was putting a target on your back. But now, nigga, you, it's got so bad to where, nigga, you can't even foul hard no more. Yeah. In your case. And I think it's taken away from your game right now as well. Because I feel like, you know, I ain't going to say it's taken away from his game. I think it's taken away from the public's view of his game. Because I've been hearing a lot of fans out there that, you know, even when I'm in the barbershop or even when I'm just, you know, around people that, you know, watch basketball and they get to talking. And, you know, I be standing on the side because, you know, I know Draymond. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the city. So it'd be like... You kind of feel a little defensive sometimes, but then in the same sense, you'd be like, I understand you, but they be getting into the, oh, well, uh, uh, he's not that good of a player. And I'd be like, nah, no, you ain't going to disrespect him. No, no, you, you disrespect him. Yeah. The, the, the Golden State Warriors is not the Golden State Warriors without Draymond Green. Fuck that. Facts, man. Facts. I don't care what you say. They don't have them four rings that they got without Draymond being there, bro. Then that's, that's But but you want to know something, though, what's, what's making it <laughs> worse for Draymond right now? Is that they a losing team? They're ten and I think ten and thirteen. So when he was doing this before, they were winning. They were winning but yeah. now that we're losing and you're being the main distraction, yeah, it, that's what's making it even worse. Because they like, damn, bro, we can't really come together because you keep fucking up. And then you gone. You ain't even injured. Yeah, you gone for no, and definitely right now. Last game, my last time was five games. Five games. Last that was five time. games. You gone and you are. You're you you you're a very main focal part of this of this team. You are the focal. You're the vocal part you're of the, the team. You're the glue of the team, yeah. bro. They talking about he may not be back till January. I was just like, damn, they awesome. just gonna send him home for Christmas. Oh, they just, hey man, just go ahead and have a good Christmas with your family, man. Hug everybody in your family and just get right with yourself, yeah, man. man. But, I was listening to Joe Dumars talk about it. Joe Dumars, that's you know they got a great relationship. Joe Dumars just like more or less like. We ain't putting no games on it because we, we really want the nigga to get right. Like, I think something going on with him. And when I started to look at it, bro, I was just like, something got to be going on. You know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of like, you know everything you do is going to get you a tech. If you start streaming, it'll get you. They got a bull's on your back, dog. So you got to be crazy as hell to be trying to draw a foul. And spin around and slap a nigga in the face. Like, yeah, that's Some shit be looking like, damn, Dre, you playing this shit. But I don't know, man. It's just I feel that, you know, he, he he definitely going through something right now. But in the same sense, though, like the whole commentary about, like, Draymond not being a, 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 a good basketball. Like, he can't ball. Like, that's, that's, that's cap. That's cap, man. That's cap, bro. Like, don't take away, like, what he's put into the game and how he plays the game of basketball. Just by a couple. I mean, I ain't gonna say a couple, but now, some flagrant I'm, fouls. I'm not gonna lie though. It is kind of putting a little tarnish on on his reputation though. Reputation, it, it is legacy, reputation. Doing on yes. the legacy, bro. Because 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 the not shit the he legacy, doing though, is crazy. It don't take away. It don't take away his defense. No, it don't take away none of that. But yeah. when when you do look at it, that shit do look crazy. Nigga put niggas in headlocks and dragging them down, laying their heads on the ground. That's crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Dede, man. Just, Shout just, just Draymond, come man. back in the game, man, and, t- and elevate your team, man, and elevate yourself. Get right within yourself, brother. I don't know what it is going yeah, on, man. but you in my prayers, man. You from my city, so. Shout out to Dede, man. man. Shout out to Dede, bro. But uh, we getting ready to wrap this up, man. Um, Cardi B, Offset, man. We had spoke about Offset earlier, man. You know, being included in this whole. Uh, Krishan Rock and uh, Blueface drama, man. But um, Cardi B came out, man. Finally, publicly, I guess, man, and said, man, hey, man, we we not together. Yeah. There ain't no more Cardi B and Offset McDonald Mill no more, man. Damn. 
I mean, I ain't gonna say we marking them out or they marking it and marking it out like they, they mark they self out. Yeah, they mark they self out, but I don't <laughs> think they just completely done and no shit like that. They may be, but I'm just saying, like, yeah. I don't think for us they completely done yet, because you know that shit can go back. You know, it's happened you know many what? times. She said they've been separated for a while, so this ain't no shit that's happening. We've been known about this. Yeah, but she was just pumping that nigga up, like, not even not too long ago. But, you know, who to say what they were just doing for the media or whatever? Because, I mean, I heard her not, what was it? Like, it couldn't been no more than, she said a long time. It ain't been longer than three, four months. Shit, I ain't in that house. I don't know. But she said it's been a minute, though. They've been separated. Oh, I don't know, man. Like that's that's the hip hop power couple for like. They all sit out there smashing. Hey, thing, boy. Like, yeah. What you doing, bro? Like, we ain't what gonna you? Put that on homie set. It's just we ain't gonna put that on set, man. But damn, bro, you got Cardi B at the crib, like, nigga. Yeah. yeah, man. All but, I'm thinking about is putting babies in zone. I ain't thinking about that. I'm keeping hundred with you, though, bro. I'm keeping hundred, bro, man. But you gotta you gotta be real though, man. Cardi B at the crib. Cardi B is bad. We know that, right? But. You know, it's a lot of chicks out here that don't have a dollar to their name, bro, that's probably a thousand times probably better than motherfucking Cardi B, bro, in this world. So, you know, just keep it on it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and maybe in that nigga's eyes. You know what I'm saying? But it don't even be that a nigga, he ain't got to be the baddest chick. It don't, it don't matter about your looks. Nigga, niggas cheat on their girl, bro, with chicks that's six, six motherfucking weight classes below her. When I say, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, if your girl's a 10, man, Niggas be treating with motherfucking girls as three sometimes. So it don't even matter about that, about her being Cardi B. Oh, that's sloppy. You know what I'm saying? It's about something that these girls are giving that she ain't giving, man. I don't know, man. Maybe them, you know, maybe they cooking them sandwiches in the middle of the night, man. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. But, I don't know, man. Shout out them, though. I mean, ain't, I mean, hey, everybody go. I think that was more or less one of the black couples that everybody was hoping like they kind of made it because they was going through it. You know, the they, rocking, tried to turn you know into, they tried to turn them into like the J and B of this, you know what I'm saying, era. Yeah. Shit didn't work out. But that's what I was getting. I'm like, yo, like, it don't, it don't, just because you Cardi B, nigga, uh, uh, Holly Berry, I think, got cheated on. Yeah. Uh, Man, keep them. You can keep going, bro, man. Shit, nigga. It's, it's a lot of bad ones out here that didn't got And all these chicks be getting... Nah, shit, my man no, cheated on me nah. alone, bro. Yeah, man. So he, and then they was like, man, he cheated, bro. I, I see the picture of the chick. Yeah, I'm like, oh, my God. What was you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about cupcake. But that's, What's that's going what on? That's what I'm getting. I'm like, dog, it don't matter about what, what statue is in life, bro, man. You know, how you... How you measure up out here for his looks and nothing like that, man. It be something that's missing, bro. That nigga might like. You never know what a nigga might be. You know what I'm saying? He just, hey, she ain't, she ain't. Man. Bro. Everybody might be like, we don't know. It might be her. She might not be. You know what I'm saying? She might be like, I ain't feeling this nigga right now. Well, that nigga did get up there all set and did that concert. I don't know. I don't know if that nigga was trying now. to channel Michael Jackson, but man, that nigga was out there. Doo, doo. I was like, what's going on, bro? Upset, she might have seen that shit like this nigga corny as hell. Mm, this nigga, nah. coach, come on, let's get this nigga shit and get him the fuck out of here. <laughs> Shout out to him, man. But we about to get ready to get out of here, man. I had one more topic I wanted to jump into, bro. Uh, did you see that uh, Devin Haney, bro, and uh, uh, shit, Javante, uh, Javante Davis, bro, Tank? Man, they've been up on social media, bro, man. I don't know if they trying to get a bag right now. Well, I know they ain't worried about a bag, but I don't know if they just trying to hype us up, man. I, I I heard that shit, but I don't be believing Devin Haney, bro, man. I'm trying to tell you, bro, from the time that nigga, you remember that one fight he had last, and the time he had old boy looking at him in the corner? When that nigga looked at him in the corner and oh, called, I, yeah, I was yeah. like, yo, bro, that's why niggas was in the comments like, nigga, you got to be Shakira first. You ain't even ready for him. Like When, when he jumped out there, I was like, bro, when you just like start talking to Tank like this, bro, but you ain't got past the first nigga yet, bro. Like, yeah, man. Like, I don't know, man. He, I don't know. He a weird type dude, though, man. He give me weird tendencies. But yeah, it just came so out the blue. I'm like, damn, bro. That's how you feel today. That's who you. That's who you want to fuck with. I fucks with you know what I'm saying Devin Haney, man. I, I mean, he's definitely a talented boxer, bro. Do I think he's? Do I think he should be fighting Tank right now? No. Yeah, uh, stay away from that boy, man. I feel there's a few, you know what I'm saying. You know, a few boxes. You know what I'm saying. Boxes. I heard that you can go ahead and you know. Get them out the way, and then, like I said, come, you know, circle back. Yeah, circle you know back, man. Like, let like, us see you with them first. You know what I'm saying? Like, but niggas, you know, I, and that's their profession. So you know, I mean, she must don't got no fight coming up. You're like, man, get 
get this quick bag. Let me see ain't what no the edges level. You know, quick bag because you know Tank Davis ain't no walk in the park, nigga. And that bag gotta be, you gotta be some monumental for them niggas. I mean, to I'm sign thinking on. that Tank would Tank take more. For, that's what I'm saying. He ain't fighting for I mean, nothing little though. This gonna be a marquee fight right here. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. So. But Devin Haney just, I don't know, bro. I, I, he just, I got to see more, bro. I just got to see more. That's, I mean. I, I don't think Javante is the fight for him. Because that's how a lot of this boxing shit is sensitive, bro. Because you don't want to, you don't want to have him fight somebody too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's still young. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you don't want them to fight nobody to be like, yo, this nigga might get knocked down. Might turn this nigga career the other way. Because that's the type of shit Tank could do to you, the way he be knocking these niggas out. Uh, and that takes you right out of that race. Right out the race. And then, then that's when you see the going a different division. I'm going 135. Nah, nigga. Look at Adrian Broner, man. And, and actually speaking on him, I heard him say like uh, maybe like a couple weeks ago, he was saying that he, this nigga is crazy, bro. <laughs> that nigga was saying like, yo, man, Floyd, Floyd hating right now, bro, because he won't fight him. Like, he think that that would be a money grab or this would be a big draw. He want an exhibition fight with Yeah, Floyd. he said that this would be a big money draw right here for him to fight Floyd. Like, nigga. Nigga, bro, just... Let that shit go, bro. That nigga is... I don't know, bro. I, I think he brushed his hair too much when he had waves and shit, and that shit it hit the the, the, equal, the the brain and shit, the it touched tissue. The, it touched the chromosome. Chromosome bro. on his head, bro. That nigga... I, I haven't took Adrian <laughs> Braun as serious since that nigga went to court and pulled his pockets out and said, Hey, Judd, I can't even get money to get a burger right now. Ever since he said that, I said, I know this nigga is off, bro. He had it, too. He had the bread at the time. Too, had like. the bread. Nigga went in the courtroom, like, pulled his pocket inside out. And that's exactly where I'm going with Devin Haney, man. You do not want to sit there and fall to that. Like, I know, like, you not, like, your personality ain't that nigga personality, but I'm saying, like, you do not want to be out here taking the loss like that and then you out here fighting uh, 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 ESPN Showtime, fight. you know what I'm saying? Them ESPN Friday night fights and shit again, bro. And hey, you know, so. Floyd and the low key Floyd saying this by Adrian Broner, bro. He's like, man, I should take this one and beat this nigga ass, bro. I beat the. And you know that I beat Broner, him and his daddy ass on the same card, nigga. <laughs> you know, AB, you know, AB don't actually keep up. Like, I ain't gonna say he don't keep up, but you know, he don't keep in shape like Floyd. Keep yeah, shape. Floyd in shape. Yeah. Floyd gonna be more mad that if they did an extra bit. Floyd gonna be more mad that he had to fight that nigga because he don't took time away from his grandson because his grandson be tripping. That nigga yeah. be like, oh, yeah, he don't play about. He don't play about that. He don't play about that grandson. Look, KJ gonna be like, oh man, I said you taking all time with me to go fight this nigga. Hey, I'm trying to tell you that that little boy is destined to be a freaking professional boxer, bro. Oh, yeah. He destined. Yeah, he loves crazy. Like, Shout out Floyd, him. man. But, uh, yeah, man, shout out to Floyd, man. Shout but out to Devin, Devin Haney, Haney, man, shout out Devin Haney, man. He trying to get his weight up, and hey. Hey, man, shout out to Devin Haney, man. If you want to get your weight up, bro, go ahead and get it up. Just I think you should choose another fighter, to be honest <laughs> with you, man. And shout out to Tank, too, man. We need something out here, man. It's been a minute since we've seen you on this, uh, you know. Yeah, man. Canvas out here with these guys, man. I know he had a lot going on, so they line, they'll line something up, man. Jay Prince, somebody over there, man. No, nah, don't leave Jay Prince alone, nigga. I mean, his Grand fighters, Reaper. I think I think Shakir Stevenson, his fighters, so shit. That would be, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know okay, that. That's his, yeah, that's his fighter. Yeah. But, yeah, man, uh, another one in the books, man. Episode 41, man. Dirk Lewitsky, man. Uh, before we get out of here, man, make sure you, if you ain't already did it, man, like, comment, subscribe on this video right now, man. Um, you can follow us on social media, 3M on Whittier. One, make sure you, man, tap in every day, man. We got new content going up on there, man. Uh, follow your boy, man, Coach JR, man. You can follow me on all social media platforms, man. Everything, man. Yes, sir. And uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, shout out. Our yeah, man. Get out here, bro. Uh, again, man, Black Owned Artists and Water. We sold out, but we coming back for 2024. And if y'all don't know, make sure y'all go into your nearest store if y'all in that L.A. location. Go pop out. Get you some official H two O, and that's the black on artisan yes, water sir. right there. Yeah, make sure y'all gonna get that twenty twenty four. But official H two O, man, we gonna be going live. A lot of big announcements coming from our sponsors, man. Make sure y'all stay tuned for hey, real, man. Real, man. You know, shout out your social media, bro, man. Oh, yeah, that. man. And uh, again, man, follow me on all platforms, anything, YouTube, Spotify, Rapping Ass Wheels, man. If you into the gaming, man, GT Gaming 989, um, we do that midnight streaming after midnight. You know what it is. 
Um, yeah, man, we appreciate everybody rocking with us. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe on the gang gang. Yes, sir, man. Episode 41, man. Hey, I appreciate y'all making it through with me because if, if y'all ain't noticed, man, I'm over here motherfucking coughing like a mug. I'm trying Nigga to get over this, here sniffling. Trying to get over this cold, little whatever it is, man. Just trying to get over it, man. But we made it through this mug, man. Episode 41, man. We back at it again next week, man, for the stack house. 42, man, legendary, man, Stackhouse episode 42, man. We'll be back next week, man. Until then, man, gang. Bow.